Hello, my children of the night. I am Anime Viewer 666, and today we're going to be taking a look at Tokyo Ghoul, Season 1 and Season 2. Before we get into the story itself, however, I would like to explain what ghouls are in the context of the story. Basically, humans and ghouls live together not so harmoniously. Ghouls are creatures that can only survive by eating human flesh. They have supernatural powers and whatnot, and in a lot of ways you can compare them to vampires, just they eat the flesh of humans rather than merely drinking their blood. They can go into everyday human society, and the only real tale that you can tell a human from a ghoul is that a ghoul will get very, well, sick when they eat human food, though some ghouls have trained themselves to sort of scarf down human food even though the taste of them is poultried. For most of the story, we follow our main character, Kaneki, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that name. The story follows him from his everyday life as a normal human to when he is turned into a ghoul through some very strange means. He is turned into a ghoul against his will, however, and this causes some struggle in his life, shall we say. What ends up happening is we go through a whole thing where he meets up with sort of vegetarian ghouls, as they were. Ones who eat human flesh because it's the only thing they have to sur uh, survive and supplement on, but they do it by eating already dead humans, people who commit suicide, that sort of thing. And he learns the ghoul society and all the different facets that come with that. The story is really excellent. It really dives into what is good and what is evil, and ultimately who the real monster is, the ghouls or the humans themselves, perhaps both, perhaps neither in some ways. A quick warning for you out there that are a bit squeamish, this show does have a lot of blood and gore, so watch at your own risk at that point. Also, understand that this show, while amazing, does have some problems in the second arc. The second arc of this show, the second season I should say, is okay. It's nowhere near as bad as people would have you to believe because there is a lot of bashing of the second season. I personally enjoyed it, though I did feel that it had a lot of loose ends that they didn't tie up towards the end, and a lot of questions that weren't answered, and that did make me quite angry, but overall, as a whole season, it worked quite well, and even though I would have liked to get more answers to the questions I had, I was okay with how it ended. Then there are the amazing, I mean amazing, fight scenes. They get even more beautiful and fluid as you go from season 1 to season 2, in my opinion. The fight scenes themselves are gory and also very violent, so it's not going to be some Super Saiyan where you take 5 minutes to charge up and then the person dodges or takes the blast and just has a few bruises. No, there's going to be blood everywhere, limbs lost, so forth and so on. I'm going to give this show a bit of a mixed review. The first season gets a 4 out of 5, and the second season gets a 3 out of 5. The quality drop in story does kind of drag it down a bit towards the second season, but overall a very enjoyable show. So until the next time we meet, my children of the night, I am Anime Viewer 666. Thank you, and good night.